Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to do a screen replacement in DaVinci Resolve. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve. I'm on the editing page. I'm going to go to the media pool and I'm going to drag this clip to the timeline. So this is the clip that I'm going to be doing a screen replacement on. So next, I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen and I'm going to hit the fusion icon. Now I'm on the fusion page. We've got the media in one and the media out. So the media in, this is the clip that's coming from the editing page. And the media out, this is the final output. In order to make this work, we need to track the movement of the computer. To do this, we're going to make sure that media in one is selected. Then you hit shift space. A selection toolbar comes up. Then you're going to type planar tracker. Then you're going to select add. A planar tracker has been added. Now the planar tracker node has been added between the media in node and the media out. So we're going to use this planar tracker to track the movement of the computer. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a selection around the edge of the computer. Okay, now that we have made a selection with the planar node selected, we're going to head over to the inspector. I'm going to leave the tracking mode on perspective. Then I'm just going to hit track forward. So now DaVinci Resolve is tracking the movement of the computer. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see some white lines. These are the tracking data. Next, I'm going to go back to the inspector. I'm going to change the operation mode from track to corner pin. Then I'm going to go back to the media pool. And then I'm going to drag in the clip that I want to use as the screen replacement. And then I'm going to connect the output to the green input on the tracker node. As you can see, the clip has been added. Now hit the planar tracker and pin the edges of the clip to the edges of the computer. Now let's go to the editing page and see what we have done so far. That's beautiful. This is how you do a screen replacement in DaVinci Resolve. If you have learned anything from this video, please subscribe to my channel so you can get more of this type of content. 